ஹலோ எவ்ரிபடி வெல்கம் டு எ ஸ்மார்ட் கிராஸ்ப் எக்ஸ்ப்ளோர் அண்ட் வின் கிரீட்டிங்ஸ் ஃபார் தி டே லெட்ஸ் கெட் ஸ்டார்டட் வித் டூ டேஸ் டாபிக் சாப்டர் லெவன் பெரிமீட்டர் அண்ட் ஏரியா எக்ஸசைஸ் லெவன் பாயிண்ட் ஒன் இன் தேட் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் சம் தி லென்த் அண்ட் தி பிரெத் ஆஃப் அ ரெக்டாங்குலர் பீஸ் ஆஃப் லேண்ட் ஆர் ஃபைவ் ஹண்ட்ரட் மீட்டர் அண்ட் த்ரீ ஹண்ட்ரட் மீட்டர் ரெஸ்பெக்டிவ்லி ஸோ தேர் இஸ் அ ரெக்டாங்குலர் பீஸ் ஆஃப் லேண்ட் இட்ஸ் லென்த் அண்ட் பிரெத் ஆர் கிவன் நவ் ஃபைண்ட் இட்ஸ் ஏரியா the first subdivision is to find the area second one is the cost of the land if 1 meter square of the land cost rupees 10000 we have to find the cost of the land as well area of the land equal to length into breadth because it is a rectangular land length is 500 breadth is 300 500 into 300 is 5 3s are 50 and we have four zeros together it is 150000 meter square this is the area of the land second subdivision is cost of the land cost of the land if 1 meter square of the land cost 10000 rupees so cost of the land for 1 meter square so they have given the value for 1 and asking many this is 10000 If 1 meter square is 10,000, 150,000 meter square is, we have to find cost of land for 150,000 meter square. They have given the value for 1 and asking the value for many. So let's do the multiplication. 150,000 into 10,000, which is equal to 50 rupees, equal to rupees. 15 4 zeros 4 zeros so total 8 zeros so this is the cost of the land now let's discuss the second sum find the area of a square park whose perimeter is 320 meter so they have given the perimeter of a square park so perimeter equal to 320 meter since it is the square park the perimeter of a square is 4s therefore 4s equal to 320 when the 4 is transposed it becomes division 4 therefore s is equal to 320 by 4 which is equal to 80 meter so side of the park is 80 meter so imagine this is a square park each side is 80 meter now let's find the area area of the area of the square park equal to s into s that is side into side which is 80 into 80 which is equal to 6400 meter square now let's discuss the third sum third sum find the breadth of a rectangular plot of land so we are supposed to find the breadth of a rectangular plot if its area is 440 meter square and the length is 22 meter so they have given the area and the length now also we have to find its perimeter first let's find the breadth and the perimeter area equal to length into breadth because it is a rectangular plot the value of area is 440 so 440 equal to length it is given as 22 So 22 into breadth we are supposed to find. So let's keep it as B. When this 22 is transposed, it becomes division. Therefore, breadth equal to 440 divided by 22. So 440 divided by 22 we will get 20. Therefore, breadth equal to 20 meter. Now let's find the perimeter. Perimeter of the rectangle equal to. 2 into L plus B. So 2 into length is 22 plus breadth is 20, which is equal to 2 into 22 plus 20 is 42. 2 into 42 is 84. 84 meter. So perimeter of the rectangular plot is 84 meter. Now let's discuss the fourth sum. The perimeter of a rectangular sheet is 100 centimeter. So the perimeter is 100 centimeter. therefore perimeter equal to 100 cm 
If the length is 35 cm, perimeter formula is 2 into L plus B because it is a rectangular sheet. Now let's substitute the known values. So this is equal to 100. Now length is 35. So 2 into 35 plus B equal to 100. Let's find the breadth. We have to find the breadth, the B, and also find the area. Next, we will find the area. Now, when you transpose this 2, it becomes division. So, 35 plus B equal to 100 by 2. Therefore, B equal to 100 by 2 is 50. Plus 35 comes this side as minus 35, which is equal to 15. The unit is centimeter. Therefore, breadth equal to 15 centimeter. Now we know the breadth and the length. Let's find the area. Therefore, area of the rectangular sheet equal to length into breadth. Since it is a rectangle, L into B. Length equal to 35, breadth equal to 15. So 35 into 15 on multiplying we will get 525 unit is centimeter square therefore the area is 525 centimeter square fifth the sum the area of a square park is the same as of a rectangular park they have given that area of the square park is equal to the area of that particular rectangular park so with this we can equate the formula like area of square park equal to area of rectangular park next if the side of the square park is 60 meter side of the square that is s that is s is equal to 60 meter and the length of the rectangular park is 90 meter that is l equal to 90 meter find the breadth of the rectangular park we have to find the breadth now area of a square park is S into S because side into side equal to area of rectangular park is L into B, length into breadth. Now let's substitute the value 60 into 60 equal to length is 90, so 90 into breadth. When this 90 comes this side, it becomes division. Therefore, breadth equal to 60 into 60 divided by 90. So this is the breadth. 0, 0 cancel, 3, 3 is a, 3, 2 is a, 3, 1 is a, Again, 320s are 20 into 2 is 40. The unit is meter. Therefore, breadth equal to 40 meter. Now, let's move to the sixth sum. A wire is in the shape of a rectangle. So, the wire is in this shape. Its length is 40 centimeter. That is L equal to 40 centimeter. And breadth is 22 centimeter. B is 22 centimeter. If the same wire is rebent in the shape of a square. So we are taking the same wire and keeping it in the shape of a square. The same wire, we are just taking it and placing it in the shape of a square. Now it will become a square. The same wire, we are just reformatting the shape. Okay, so now what will be the measure of each side? They are asking us to find the side. Also find which shape encloses more area. We have to find which shape has more area. So we have to find the area of both the figures. So this full wire, imagine if it is 100 centimeter. Now we can make it as a rectangle. So for example, it will be like the same 100 centimeter wire we are keeping it in rectangle shape so the perimeter of this rectangle is 100 centimeter and the same wire we are keeping it in square shape the perimeter of this square is also 100 centimeter since we are using the same wire and putting it into two different shapes the perimeter will be same as the length of the wire remains same so from this scenario we can understand that perimeter of the rectangle is equal to perimeter of the square therefore by given perimeter of rectangle equal to perimeter of square let's substitute the values perimeter of rectangle is 2 into l plus b 
equal to perimeter of square 4 into s. Now 2 into length is 40 plus breadth 22 equal to 4 into side is s. Yes. Now let's solve 2 into 40 plus 22 62. When this 4 comes to the side, it becomes division. This is equal to S. 2 1s are, 2 2s are, 2 1s are, 2 31s are. Therefore, side equal to 31 centimeter. So we have found the side. Now let's find the area. Area of rectangle equal to L into B. So length is 40 into breadth 22. It is given there, which is equal to 40 into 22 is 880 centimeter square. Now area of square equal to side into side, which is equal to 31 into 31 equal to 961 centimeter square. So on observing itself, we can easily say 961 is greater than 880. Therefore, square shaped wire. encloses more area because 961 is greater than 880. Now let's discuss the seventh sum. The perimeter of a rectangle is 130 centimeter. So they have given the perimeter of the rectangle. So perimeter of rectangle equal to 130 centimeter. Let's substitute the formula. So 2 into L plus B equal to 130. Now second statement if the breadth of the rectangle is 30 centimeter. So instead of B we can write 30 that is 2 into L plus 30 equal to 130. Find its length. So we have to find the length also find the area of the rectangle. After that we will find the area. So when this 2 is transposed it becomes division. So L plus 30 equal to 130 by 2. Therefore L equal to 130 by 2 is 65. When the plus 30 is transposed, it becomes minus 30. Therefore, length equal to 65 minus 30, which is equal to 35 centimeter. Therefore, area of rectangle equal to length into breadth. That is 35 into 30, which is equal to 1050 centimeter square. Now let's move on to the last sum. A door of length 2 meter and breadth 1 meter is fitted in a wall. So there is a wall like this. So in that the door is fitted here. The length is 2 meter and the breadth is 1 meter for this door. Let's write door length is 2 meter breadth is 1 meter. Now the length of the wall is 4.5 meter and the breadth is 3.6 meter. So the wall also has the length and breadth. Now let's note out that wall. Let's take it in capital. Length equal to 4.5 meter and breadth is 3.6 meter. So just to have a difference I have taken small letter and capital letters here. Find the cost of whitewashing the wall. So we have to find the cost of whitewashing the wall. Whitewashing means just painting. So we have to find the cost of painting the wall. If the rate of whitewashing the wall is rupees 20 per meter square, that is for 1 meter square they charge rupees 20 and we want to find the total cost. So we have to find the total area of the wall so that we can find the total cost. Because for 1 meter square they are charging 20 rupees, so we need to know how many meter square the wall space is. So that we can easily find the cost of whitewashing the wall. So in order to find the area of the wall, we have to exclude the area of door because in the door we will not be doing whitewashing. Only the wall space we need to find. So let's find the total area of the wall including door and we will find the area of door. Then we will subtract both so that the door area will be excluded and we will have the remaining area of the wall space so for door area equal to l into b 
that is two ones are two meter square for wall area of wall this is area of door and this is area of wall is l into b 4.5 into 3.6 which is equal to 16.2 meters square now let's find the area of whitewashing that is area of wall minus area of door because in this complete whole wall we are going to exclude the area of door so that we can find the area of whitewashing the total area of wall is 16.2 minus 2 which is equal to 14.2 meter square now let's find the cost of whitewashing so cost of whitewashing 1 meter square is rupees 20 We have to find the cost of whitewashing 14.2 meter square. So we will do multiplication 14.2 into 20. They have given the value for one and asking us to find the value for many. So we are doing multiplication. On multiplying, we will get rupees 284. So the cost of whitewashing the wall excluding the door is rupees 284. With this, we have completed this exercise. Thank you all for watching Smart. Grasp, explore and win. Stay tuned for more videos.